hey what's up so this will be a very fast video i just wanna like throw this out of the way before actually continuing so the plan in the next video to actually record to actually like create a custom django command to fake our data with some like to fake our database with some fake data but uh, before that i'm just gonna like move something out of the way which is uniqueness or index indexes in the database that check for uniqueness so first one that actually makes sense that we should uh, add in the category model so each name should be unique so for example if you go to that choices someone will add these into the database right and we need to actually uh, make sure that that someone will not add general twice, will not add JavaScript twice. So to do this, you will just add unique, true, and this will be it. I will show you in the moment in the database what will this be. And uh, if you are wondering who will add this, it will be the admin, the super user. I think in the first or maybe second video, I showed you how we can create one. This is like the person that will add these kind of stuff. And I will show you in some video in the future how we can actually activate that admin panel, uh, which is one of the most powerful features in Django. Anyway, now the second place that makes sense we have uh, constraints, unique constraints, is in the category post. So each time a specific user references a category for his or her post, a record will be inserted here, right? Category post, category ID, post ID, and await. I don't need these two, the category ID and the post ID, to be duplicated uh, again. So this is this is like a sort of validation. So post ID and category ID together is always unique, right? So to do this, you will add a class meta in the in this model, and you will add this property unique together, and this will be an, a list of lists or uh, a set of sets like this. Um, I will go with a list of lists. So each list inside the parent list or the upper list will be like will con will be represented by an index that checks that by a by sorry by a uniqueness index. Okay. So I will have my post underscore ID and my category underscore ID. If I want to add like more stuff, more indexes with different uh columns or fields I can add here for example like this and this will be like two indexes one that checks for the post and categories uniqueness and one will check for these two uniqueness but I only need one uh, so I will do this and in case that you only have one index like this you can actually emit the inside list and this will be it but I will just leave it for a reference just in case you want to add extra stuff and this should be it so don't forget to activate your virtual environment we already did that now let's actually run python make migrations now python manage migrate and let me actually show you in the database dreaver is very nice it will actually show you these indexes so this is the database let me see if you can actually see it go to the category you will see that here i have this name and if you go to the indexes you will see this we have this uniqueness index as you can see unique uh, this is like a check mark not v and uh, if you go to the post category post you will see we have three indexes by default each foreign key will have uh, its own index as you can see and it's not unique but Together, these two are unique, as you can see. So yeah, we have yeah. Th that's basically the idea. I know this is simple, but I just want to throw it out of the way. I actually recorded uh, the video that uh, shows you how we can create custom command and did this at the beginning. Then I thought, hey, I'll just extract it into its own video. I don't want to like I have a single video with so many stuff inside of it. Anyway, I think this is um, alright. So. Next video, we will be creating a custom Django command that populates the database. Bye.